Today we're going to be making a macrame heart bracelet together with 11 tiny hearts that you can give out as a Valentine's Day present, for example, or just make for yourself because it's cute. I haven't been around here on YouTube much lately in the last year and a half, two years, because I recently launched my own macrame membership. Right now, after a year and a half of activity, we have about 40 to 50 step-by-step -step macrame project tutorials from wall hangings to plant hangers to a crown, a vest, a bag, all kinds of different tutorials, as well as not tutorials, slow, step-by-step, -step, and also a beginner roadmap if you've never done macrame before. But today, we're not going to be looking at all those different tutorials, but we're going to concentrate on this one and we're going to make it together right here on YouTube. But I am going to take this opportunity to show you the membership website where this tutorial lives. Are you ready to start nodding? Let's get to business. I'm going to share my screen on my laptop here and show you the website and then all the videos to make your own heart bracelets. So here we are on the main dashboard, the first page you see when you log in. Here I've got some tutorials in progress. We've got links to our macrame beginner roadmap. But today what I want to show you is the tutorials, which are right here. Here we've got the beginner, beginner roadmap, community. We've got our own community and a community app where you can talk to me and the other teachers as well. And we've got some helpful resources here, linked macrame shops and a little bit of maker's wellness. But let's head over to the tutorials page. Here we go. All the tutorials can be found here, here. The heart bracelet is the latest one to come out. And before that, we had a vest, a little, little string lights, garland for Christmas. We had a mask for Halloween got a mandala rug and so on. So many things, a little crown, we've got different pixel macrame, all kinds of things that I would love to show you everything, but we are gonna go and jump right into the heart bracelet tutorial. Here, front page, some pictures, and let's get right into the introduction. So this is what every single lesson looks like. If there's a video, you've got the video here on top, an overview of the entire course or tutorial here on the left, as well as a little bit of text about this particular lesson. But don't worry, all this text is going to be in the videos that we're going to play right now, starting with the introduction. So let's make this full screen. I'm just going to press play and we can start nutting. Let's go. Hi everyone! Today we're making a Valentine's Day gift, a heart bracelet like this one. And this is really taking me back to my, uh, my 90s roots. I didn't make this specific macrame bracelet in the 90s, but it's still bringing me lots of memories of making, making all these tiny clove hitch knots. So our bracelet is formed of this starting loop over here and then we've got 11 tiny hearts and it's really a quick nice present for valentine's day that you could make for friends and loved ones that you can gift out i'm sure they will love it i'm i'm from finland originally and we actually call valentine's day a friendship day so it's less about romantic love and more about loving feelings towards everyone your friends, your family, and also your romantic partner. So with this bracelet, I encourage you to celebrate all kinds of love on February 14th. So let's talk a little bit more specifics about our bracelet. You need about 45 minutes to an hour to make the whole thing. And I would rate this as a difficulty level intermediate, just because it's got loads of clove hitches, there's reverse clove hitches, normal clove hitches, you're going on all kinds of different directions and so on. And here I've used a barrel knot at the end to tie off these, uh, these strings. 
So the size of the finished bracelet is about 15 centimeters or six inches from this loop until here. So it fits quite a feminine wrist. But don't worry, um, in one of the lessons you will have instructions on how to make your bracelet longer or shorter if you want. You'll have the measurements of how much cord you need for adding or removing one extra heart. And then at the end of the bracelet we've got these 10 centimeter or 4 inch strings that you can use to tie on your, um, your bracelet. And for working surface, I recommend a macrame board with some pins so you can pin down your work and, uh, and it's easy to make your knots. All right, are you ready to get knotting? Let's do it. Okay, that was the first video exiting full screen. And now we can just scroll down here, mark it complete and we move on to the next lesson automatically, which is materials, tools, and knots. For this one, there's no video, so I am going to show you what it says here. So to make one 15 centimeter or six inch bracelet, you'll need the following cords. So we need this much of the, the red cord, and these are one millimeter thick cords. I'm using um, hemp, but you can use cotton or polyester or whatever, whatever type of string you want, that's one millimeter thick. And then we need the beige cord, just one long string of that. And mine are from Hemptique. Um, I can put the link for Hemptique's website in the description box below. And then you also need scissors, tape measure, and like I said in the video, maybe a macrame board and pins, or there are some other suggestions here. And for this one, we need to learn how to make these knots. I'm going to link these also into the description box, but I can show you that if you are on the membership website and you click on one of these links, you get forwarded immediately to a, um, another lesson where you have another video for that specific knot. So the first knot that you're going to learn there we go. is called... We don't need to watch it now, I'll put the link below. And then we're going to mark this one complete as well and move on to the third lesson that is talking about cord lengths. Again, no video here, but I'm going to stop here for a second. So the first paragraph is about making a different length bracelet. If you want to do that, just pause the video, read what it says. It's got the measurements for you if you want to make one extra or two extra or three extra little hearts to make your bracelet longer or shorter. So pause it here, read what it says, and uh, you're good to go. And here's also a little text about using a different size cord. Pause the video if you want to read it. And we're moving on. Starting loop. Let's get knotting, finally. Okay, so I'm going to just press this on full screen and uh, start the video. I hope you've cut your cords now and you're ready to go. All right, let's get knotting. So the first thing I want you to do is to cut your cords if you didn't already. Then after that, we fold all of our cords in half and we find that central point. And then one by one, we're going to pin these down onto our macrame board. Then the next one, these red ones, I'm putting them over the first cord and the last one here too. Now I recommend you also organize your cords like this because we're going to start knotting with the beige cord and we'll be using these two cords as our filler cords and it's best if the beige is below them. So we're going to make five lark's head knots here on the right and since we only have one cord to knot with, this is how it's done. So we go over the filler cords, we pick the filler cords up and pass our working cord from underneath the filler cords through this loop. And this is one half of the first lark's head. 
Then to finish it, we go underneath the filler cords and then over through the loop again. And here we've got one lark's head done. Then on this side, we're gonna make four more, so five in total. There, that's five on this side. And then we move on to the left side and we repeat it here. But I want to get the next lark's head really close to the previous one. So I'm just gonna move these pins a little bit. And now we make five on this side. So first we go over, under, through the loop, just like we did on the other side. And then we go under, over, through the loop. Like that. And four more. Now we need 10 in total. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. There. Now let's let go of these needles. And as you can see, it's already rounding up a bit. I'm gonna turn it around like this so that these little knobs of the lark's heads are facing up. And I'm gonna pull on the filler cord a little bit to get our semicircle rounding up even more. There. And then we're just gonna pin this down and we can move on to making the hearts. There. We've done our starting loop and we can move on. Let's exit full screen and we go to the next lesson. Mark this one complete. Now, what's really cool about this, I don't know if you noticed, is that here in this overview, you can actually see where you left off. So we've done these four lessons and now we're doing the heart senate on the right. All right, let's keep going and we press play. All right, let's get knotting the heart pattern here. So we're gonna start here on the right-hand side and take the beige cord on the right and we'll make a row of reverse clove hitches by using this one as our knotting cord. So these are all gonna be filler cords. So this is how it's done. We take the first filler cord, we bring our knotting cord over it, then under it and through this loop like this and we pull tight. Then we just repeat it. Knotting cord is over, it goes underneath, we pull it through, and then we tighten. That is one reversed clove hitch. Then we take the next filler cord and we repeat. So over, under, through the loop, we tighten, and then over, under, through the loop, second half hitch. Now that is the first two done. I'm just gonna tighten them so that they're super close to the loop. And then I'm actually gonna close the loop a little bit more so that we're closer to the other cords. Put these ones aside. And then we'll take the third cord here and repeat the clove hitch the reversed clove hitch. Now I want it to be tight in there. And then the second half hitch, tight there. And then we make a fourth one here. There. And one last one over this second beige cord. There, that's the first line of reversed clovages. Now we're gonna put these beige cords to the side for a bit and we're gonna focus on making the heart here. So let's take the leftmost red cord and we use this as our filler cord for the whole heart and we're gonna go and make 
normal clovices towards the right with these three chords. So we start with this one. This is our working chord. So we make one half hitch with the working chord around the filler. That's one half hitch. And then we repeat one more. And then we make the same thing with these two chords. I want to make sure that it's close to the previous knots and the second half hitch. And then one more over, under, through the loop. One half hitch over, under, through the loop, second half hitch. And that was the start of our, our little heart. Then using the same filler cord, so this one here, we're going to make one clove hitch the other direction with this cord here. So again, over, under, through the loop. That's one half hitch. And again, over, under, through the loop, second half hitch. And now here, we're going to do something a bit strange, maybe. Let's take one pin and we're going to put it here next to our filler cord right after the last clove hitch. And I'm going to take this cord here in the middle, middle of these three working cords, and I'm going to flip my filler cord underneath it like this. So the filler cord kind of goes over this cord and then underneath it back here. And then we make another clove hitch with this working cord. One half hitch and the second one. Then to help you with these turns, it's actually, it might be useful to take pins and always put a pin next to the filler cord when you're switching directions. So now we're switching directions again. We're always using the same red filler cord and we're going to make a row of clove hitches with these three red cords towards the left. This kind of closes our hearts. So three clove hitches here. And then I'm just going to take these away and make sure that my heart has a nice shape. I don't want to pull on the filler cord too much, but I also want to make, make a nice shape of the heart. And then one last clove hitch here. One and two. And that's our heart ready, the first heart. And then we're going to close this first senet by taking the, the beige cord that is closest to the red cords and we'll make a row of reversed clove hitches all the way to the right. We're using this cord as our knotting cord. So the beige cord is the knotting cord here. Let's go. And there, that is one heart senet with the heart on the right. And now we're going to repeat this so that the heart is on the left side. That was that. How easy was it? Let me know in the comments. And now we move on to the next one, exiting the full screen, marking this complete. And now we're going to make a heart senet on the left. So for the second heart on the left side, we're going to start exactly the same. We're first going to make a row of reverse clove hitches with this uh, beige cord here. So this time take the beige cord on the left. Last time we took it from the right. So we take this one and we make a row of reverse clove hitches all the way to the other side. There, that row is done. 
And now we make the heart. So we take the red cord that is closest to our beige cords and use that as our filler for the heart. So we're gonna go towards the left and first make three normal clovages with these three cords here. And then using the same cord as our filler, we make one clove hitch in the other direction. And here I'm actually going to take a pin and pin right next to my filler cord so I don't pull on it too much. And then we make this one clove hitch here. Then let me take another pin for the turn, but before I do the turn, I'm going to take my filler cord over the next cord and underneath it back to the direction that I want to go to. So there's a little uh, twist here. Then we make one clove hitch here. There. And then I'm going to move this pin here. So I always have a pin uh, by my filler cord when I change directions. I find that it makes neater turns. And then we make three clove hitches here to close this heart. And that's our left facing heart ready. And to close this senate, we're just going to take this beige cord that is closest to the red cords and make a little row of four reverse clove hitches here. And there, our second senate is done. And now you just repeat what we did. So right facing heart and a left facing heart. You repeat this senate four times. And then at the end, you make one more right facing heart so that in total you have six hearts on the right side and five hearts on the other. And then we can continue. And now I have finished my heart senates. We've got six in total on this side and five on this side. And we can move on to dealing with these strands at the end and finishing our bracelets. And again, we are done with this video, we'll exit and we move on to the very last video for this, uh, this tutorial where we make the strings and the end knots, the stopping knots. All right, let's press play. Okay, so we're at the very end of our bracelet here. And to finish off these strands of cord, we're gonna make two very simple braids here on the right and on the left. And let's start on the left here. We've got three strands and we'll make about a 10 centimeter or four inch braid here with these. Now, I believe most of you have done a braid, but in case you haven't, it's super simple. All we need to do is uh, alternate the sides and put the cord on the side in the middle. So starting from the right, we put this cord in the middle. Then we go to the left, we put the left cord in the middle. Make sure that they're tight here at the top. Then to the right, we put it in the middle. Then on the left, we put it in the middle and so forth. We just keep putting the side cords in the middle while making sure that the braid up here remains relatively tight. Becomes a little bit easier when it's a little bit longer. There. That's about 10 centimeters or four inches, but this for your bracelet is really a matter of taste. Maybe you like it longer, maybe you like it shorter. Uh, it's all up to you. 
but now we are going to finish off the end of our braid here with a barrel knot. You could make a simple overhand knot here too, but I like the barrel knot because at the end all of our strands are pointing nicely down. I've got one strand that is very short here and the second one is quite short too. So find your longest strand and we'll make the barrel knot with this. So what we're gonna do is hold on tight to the end of your cords and leave this one, one um, cord loose, the one you're gonna make the barrel knot with. And I'm gonna put my thumb on it and wrap this cord around my thumb three times. You could do more as well, but I'll do three like this. And then I'll come to the side where I started my wrapping. And from here, I'm just gonna slide these rings off my thumb and take this, the end of the knotting string and put it through underneath these cords like that we pull it through and then one by one I'm going to start tightening these ones so I'm going to pull on the middle one to tighten the first one there this might be a little bit tricky especially since the cord is so thin then I'm going to take the middle strand see how this works while filming and then for the last one, I'll just pull. I'm gonna pull on my cord end. And make it tight. This might require some practice. And it's very difficult with the camera in the way to film this there. That's a barrel knot. And if you can get it quite tight, it's better so that uh, there's no uh, fear of this knot getting loose. And now we're going to repeat this, the braid and the barrel knot on the other side, and then we cut our strands short. And done. Both of my braids are finished and I've got two barrel knots here to tie off these cord ends. And like I said, they're about 10 centimeters four inches long, but you can make them your shorter or longer. Now all we have to do is cut these and tie on the bracelet. I am going to cut these very short. I don't like extra string hanging around, so that's good for me. This again, it's also up to you if you want them to leave them longer or shorter. All right, let's tie on the bracelet. That's a good fit for me. It will be much easier if you can have a friend to help you with this. Or maybe you can tie it for your friend. And there, that is what it looks like on me. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get to make some really nice heart bracelets and give them out. Uh, I would love to see your, your creation, so please do send me a picture. All right, bye for now. That is it. You've completed your heart bracelet. How many more are you going to make? Let me know in the comments. I really hope you also enjoyed seeing what the membership website looks like and how it works. If you have any other questions, do send me a comment, leave me a comment below, or you can always email me at hello at macramemakers.club and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will also leave the link below where you can know more about my membership and where you can see all the amazing macrame tutorials there are and every month there are new ones added at least once a month.